Hello everyone, welcome to Fantasy Lighthouse. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at the sign of Taurus to book a private session. All that info can be found in the description box of this video. I will be doing another all signs video tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, let's take a look at what Taurus needs to know. Spirit, what energies are coming towards Taurus? What energies are coming? The Seven of Swords. Why is that, Spirit, please? Okay, so the Seven of Swords energy speaks to someone either trying to run away from a situation, hiding something, this person could be running away from their own feelings. We have this guarded energy. Someone is under pressure. I don't know if that's you or the person that you're dealing with, but there's definitely travel involved. So either you are trying to get away from somebody right now or someone is concealing their emotions. There's someone that's hiding from themselves in some way, okay? It's like someone is refusing to do the shadow work, to take a look within them and inside them to verify why they are behaving the way that they are. Where does it come from? Which part of their lineage? Why are they like this, okay? Someone is needing to do the inner work. And I feel like that's very difficult for whomever it is at this time. All right, so let me look further into the Seven of Swords energy. Sometimes that can be an energy that we can't trust. Someone who, again, is running away, trying to hide something, doing something behind your back. Metaphorically, like I always say, it's gonna be different for each of you. So let's take a look at the Seven of Swords. Spirit, who is this Seven of Swords energy for Taurus? Who is the Seven of Swords here? Who is being deceptive? Talk to me about the Seven of Swords, Spirit. It's somebody that's not around you right now. Okay, this is someone that's at a distance. This person could have two options, just wondering which one to choose. They're still heavily concentrated on the situation with you. Keep in mind, this is not always in reference to love. Depending on your situation, the outcome is not the same, right? This could be about work. Are you going to get that job? Is this person going to choose you? Is someone doing something that they shouldn't be doing so that they are the ones that get the job? The Seven of Swords is an energy that can be a thief in many different ways. But more than anything else, Taurus, I feel like there's someone at a distance from you that is lying to themselves, okay? So I know that, of course, for a lot of you, there's different scenarios happening, but this screams that someone is trying so hard to hide the way that they feel. And I feel like this person is at a distance, okay? Tell me more about the Two of Wands. Tell me more, please. Four of Wands. Why the Four of Wands? Tell me about Why? Why the Four of Wands, please? Okay. Problems with foundation. Uncomfortable at home. Who's uncomfortable at home? If it's not you, then this is the other person's energy. It's one of you. 
stress in the foundation, stress at a place that's supposed to be a relaxing experience. It's just, it's not relaxing for this person. There's happiness lacking in someone's home. I feel like this person doesn't want to be there anymore. They don't want to be in this place that they called four of wands, right? Like, you know, at one point and at one time, it was a place of celebration and coming together. But now there's no happiness in this home. Someone's trying to get away. Someone needs to leave. But they're lying to themselves, Seven of Swords, because they haven't made the choice yet. But it's like they're dying to leave. Talk to me about the Six of Swords. Talk to me about the Six of Swords energy, please. Talk to me about the Six of Swords. Who needs to leave here? They're thinking about leaving, okay? I have a lot of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy on the table and a lot of fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Either you have a lot of that in your natal chart or they do, okay? All right, we have victory here, celebration. So there's somebody coming into victory. Who's the person coming into victory, spirit? Who's gonna be victorious here? Who is going to be victorious? Talk to me about the tower. Somebody's walking straight into something unexpected. This is very unexpected, okay? We have Scorpio energy here, a little bit of Aquarius, but someone's walking straight into transformative energy. Who is that? Who is that? Who is the tower here? The magician. Gemini, Virgo, Aries, energy. I mean, <laughs> someone is leaving or stepping out. They are going to see someone. They are doing something that at one point they thought they would never do or that they were never going to do this again, but they're going to because they're looking for the happiness that they don't have. Somebody does not have happiness where they live at. Somebody. So they're going to step out of their home in some way to find that happiness, which causes the tower. But someone's gonna go and get it anyway with this magician energy, right? Tell me more about the magician. Who is this magician? Who is this magician, please? <laughs> You are the magician, Taurus. Well, it looks like there's someone on their way to you. This person is going to cause some situations for themselves, right? That's what I'm getting, because they're on their way to you, period. 
So they want victory with the magician. I just clarified the magician. That's Taurus. Okay. Now. It's going to cause them a lot of problems, but I feel like they don't care anymore. Because they're not happy somewhere. They're not happy. You are someone's happiness, Taurus. Okay? There may be struggle right now between you and someone, or you're probably conflicted, confused, just wondering what happened. For some of you, it could be a past person returning, but for others of you, there's this new energy on its way and it's like it works out because there's victory and the magician here but <laughs> the tower has to happen first interesting talk to me about love for taurus please Talk to me about love. Talk to me about love. King of Swords. Yeah, this person wants to talk to you. It came out right next to... See, this is the energy. I feel the energy of your person over here. This is you, Taurus. To my right, your person is to my left. Okay? The tower is in the middle of the both of you right now. You both, if, if you don't know each other, you are going to be into each other, period, all right? If you know each other, you want each other. This person, your person over here, this king of swords, six of wands person, they want to talk, okay? They definitely want to communicate. And then somebody just beat the horn outside. Confirmation. <laughs> so um, maybe somebody's pulling up, right? Could be tonight. Could be tomorrow. Tell me more about love for Taurus. The hermit. Someone's been quiet, right? What is the hermit all about? What is the hermit? What's the hermit here? What's the hermit? The three of swords. What did I tell you? The tower, the three of swords, the hermit. The pain has to take place in order for two people to get what they want. But if you both want it, then this tower is gonna be a walk in the park for the both of you because you're going through it together. And if you both want it, it's the same frequency that you're on. So regardless, nobody can interrupt that energy. We got the Three of Swords. Talk to me about the Three of Swords, please. The Six of Cups. Yeah. It's a battle between a past person and a new person, or, you know, there's a battle here. Definitely. I, I feel the struggle. It's like as I'm laying the cards out, I keep laying cards out in the middle, and then this is your person, this is you. That's how I'm feeling. Look at this. You're waiting. I see you waiting for this person. That's okay. And I feel like this person, the one that you're dealing with, feels bad about something. You're over here chilling. You're like, okay, whatever. It is what it is. And they're over here like, I miss my Taurus. And look, at, there goes my throat, right? <clears> throat> Let's see. What's the outcome here? The outcome is the lovers. 
All right. The lovers. Nobody can stop this. Whether it's a new person, past person, there's love coming to Taurus. And it's not going to be the easiest transition. I'm telling you that right now. Somebody's, you know, either going to be instigating or there's just this middle energy. I don't know who that middle energy is, but I feel it because I kept laying the cards down in the middle. Then I, you know, the spirit will do that. Like I started to separate, separate, get it? Somebody needs to separate, literally. Because those of you who watch me every day know that I don't do this like this. I don't separate or talk about like the person on this side or the person on this side, unless I'm doing a versus. Anything else for Taurus? Anything else? Very nice. The Ace of Pentacles. What you want is going to be yours. What you've been asking for is coming to you. You understand to be patient right now because we have this Pisces energy over here of you just letting things be what they are. But that's the best way to handle the situation right now, honestly, okay? All right, so that's what I have for you. I wanna thank you so much for watching. To book a private session, all of that info is below. I'll see you for all signs tomorrow. Take care.